Good morning, ladies, or afternoon, depending on what time you're watching this. We are back with the Nancy Drew book. We're up to chapter 7. But first, the joke of the week. Since it was snowing out earlier today, jokes in regards to snow. What did the snowman and his wife put over his baby's crib? Can you think of an answer? Mm. It's a snowmobile! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, so we're up to chapter seven, and the Nancy and her crew just realized that the twins, Harry and Liam, they weren't suspects anymore. They were witnesses, right? So let's see where this goes. We're up to chapter seven, Mysterious Note. Ooh. Nancy and her friends followed Harry and Liam through the hedge maze. The boys had already gone through it twice before, so they were a little better at figuring out where the exits were. It wasn't long before they made, they all made their way back to the playground. Just think, Bess said, did you see anything odd when you were walking around the center? Does anything stand out to you? Harry scratched his head. I don't think so. Yeah. Liam shrugged. I don't know. It might be the smallest detail, George added. Oh, there was this guy with the duffel bag, Harry finally said. He sat down on the bottom of the slide, ignoring the toddler at the top, waiting for her turn. Do you remember Liam? Mm, I don't think I saw him, Liam shook his head. Harry pulled out the clue book to write down everything, Harry said. I only noticed him because he was going out the side door. Like, not the normal exit, Harry continued. And I remember the bag because it seemed like it was moving. I wonder if this is a clue. I couldn't really say anything because we were trying to sneak back to the group. A moving bag? Beth smiled. That does sound suspicious. Nancy couldn't help but smile too. This felt like the best lead they had so far. It was very possible Rainbow was in that bag. And the guy Harry was describing was their prime suspect. Tell us everything you can remember, Nancy said. I didn't see his face. And I don't remember what he was wearing, Harry went on. His back was to me. But that bag was definitely moving. What did the bag look like? Bess asked. Do you remember what color it was? Oh, it had that on it. Harry pointed somewhere behind them. They turned and saw the logo for the River Heights Wildlife Center right above the back exit. It had a picture of a sloth with a circle around it. Then the words River Heights Wildlife Center around the outside of the circle. The logo for the center, George asked? Yeah. It was a green bag, and it had that sign on it, Harry said. That's all I really remember. Thanks for your help, Harry, Nancy said. And for the end of the day, you two should really fish those mealworms out of our bags. Or I'm going to have to tell Miss Pack who was responsible for that. Liam crossed his arms over his chest like he was not pleased. Nancy couldn't really worry about him or Harry, because they had to find the guy with the duffel bag. And she had a pretty good idea where they should start looking. The gift shop was packed with souvenirs. There was a whole wall of stuffed animals. A row of koala bears hung from a fake tree branch and stuffed wolves were lurking around the small store. Bess picked up a snow globe that had an arctic box inside. She swirled it around to kick up the white flakes. There it is, George said, pointing to a spinning rack in the corner of the store. Ooh, there's a picture of Bess with that snow globe. See it? Forest green duffel bags hung off it. They all had the same River Heights Wildlife Center logo. 
Do you think he'd buy the duffel bag from the store just to use it to carry Rainbow out? Nancy asked. It didn't quite add up to her, but it was a possibility. Maybe he bought it earlier, Bess said. Maybe weeks before. Nancy picked up one of the bags and brought it to the register. A woman with a long brown braid was working. Her name tag said Lisa. Hi, Lisa, Nancy said. We're helping Belinda out today and trying to find Rainbow, the missing tortoise. Oh, Bob was just in here. Tell me all about it. Lisa's green eyes went wide. He's really upset. I know, Nancy went on. That's why we're wondering if you could help us. Do you have a record of all the times the store sold this duffel bag in the last month? We think whoever took Rainbow might have used this to carry her out. That's terrible, Lisa said. But I'm afraid we don't keep records like that. Not for a whole month. I can tell you no one bought that bag today because I've been working since 9 o'clock when the center opened. Damn it. Bess whispered. She leaned on the counter, her chin in her hands. I wish I could help more, Lisa said. I don't remember selling that bag to anyone recently. They're not really flying off the shelves, but we do give them to all the volunteers when they start. Does that mean you're the one who stole Rainbow? George joked. Don't look at me, Lisa laughed, holding both her hands up in the air. I was here all morning. You can check the store security camera. And I don't think Bob has it in him either. Ocean has his own tortoise at home, so he's out too. I really don't think this was an inside job. Nancy nodded at the phrase inside job. She heard it before to describe when someone working at a place committed a crime. It seemed like a very adult thing to do. Do you have a list of volunteers we could look at? Nancy asked. Maybe we could rule out rule some people out. Lisa leaned under the counter and pulled out a clipboard with some papers on it. She flipped through them and showed Nancy the last page. There were about 30 volunteers who came to the center throughout each month. It would be impossible to investigate each one by 4 o'clock. As Nancy and Bess read through the list of names, someone ran into the store behind them. Nancy turned to see Bob holding a crumpled piece of paper, but Linda was trailing behind him, a worried look on her face. You're not going to believe what I found, he said, waving the paper in the air. It's a ransom note. Oh no, here's a picture of Bob with the ransom note. Mm, do you know what a ransom note is? Did you get any clues this chapter of who might have taken Rainbow? Good question. All right. When you have time, check out the, ch the video for Chapter 8. See if we have any more clues. And then, of course, I'll post the quizzes. And you can submit your answers to me for a prize when we go back. Have a good day, ladies.